In this video, I'd like to show you how to copy data or a range of data from one sheet across to other sheets, either all of them or just some that you've selected. So in this case, I'm going to type into sheet one and I'd like the headings that I'll type into sheet one across all the sheets up to sheet eight. I don't want it on nine, but I do want it on 10. So what you do, you've got sheet one selected hold your shift key down and select sheet eight. So now you've got sheet one to eight selected. If we want sheet 10 selected and not nine, you hold your control key down and select sheet 10. So we've got them all selected except for nine. Now all I do is type into sheet one and whatever I type will appear on all of them. So if I type the word company, and then a company name. Let's put date and today's date, 29th of the 11th, 16. Let's come down to A2, project number, and we'll call this DL8899. And then we'll put country UK. Okay, now what I'm going to do is format this. So we want A wide enough, B wide enough, and then let's highlight the headings here and make those bold. Let's highlight that range, make it yellow. This range will have as um, sort of an orange color. This range will make blue and this range green. Okay, now come down to sheet one, right click sheet one and ungroup these sheets. Now, if you look on sheet two, three, four, we've got the same content on all of them. Sheet nine we did not select, so there's nothing on there, but sheet 10 we did, and there it is on there. So the problem with that method is if I did update, let's say the date on sheet one, all the other sheets will not update unless I've selected them all again and grouped them together. So the way to get over that, if you are likely to change, let's say just the date, you could put your headings let's say on sheet one and then on sheet two let's go to sheet two you can reference sheet one so in a1 here i've referenced a1 on to, on sheet one and then in b1 i've referenced b1 on sheet one and now i can copy this range across to the other sheets so if i highlight this range here that's on sheet two hold control down and press C. Now I go to sheet three, hold my shift key down and go to sheet eight. So I've got sheet three to eight selected. Hold control down, I'm going to select sheet 10 because I don't want this on sheet nine. And make sure I'm in A1 and just press enter and that copies everything across from sheet two with all those references on across to the other selected sheets. Again, you need to make sure there's enough room for this data. We see we've got hashtags. So if I double click B there and C, that'll do it across all the selected sheets. So if I come down to sheet three, right click and ungroup and go to sheet four, five, and you can see the data has been copied across. Now, if I go to sheet one, an update, let's say the date. So let's put the 30th of the 11th, 16. Sheet two will update to the 30th because we've referenced sheet one and all the others should do because we've copied that sheet two with the references on. So if we go to sheet three, there it is updated. So there's a couple of methods there for you to fill across the workbook. So one final method using the fill command, if you want to fill this range of 
data across all the sheets you can just highlight it select all the sheets that you want so I've selected one through to eight come up to your fill command on your home tab click across worksheets you get this dialog box that asks you if you want to fill the contents or just the formats in this case we'll keep it as all so we can have contents and format click OK and then if you come down to sheet 2 you'll see that it's come across sheet 3 etc again you need to why if you need to widen B it's best to select sheet 2 and all the sheets that you've copied across to double click so the date shows and the company shows and we'll ungroup that and you'll see that it's done that across all the sheets for you.